Imagine for a minute. You're at a crossroads where every direction leads to a deeper, more fulfilling life. Have you ever had a niggling voice, constantly barraging you with negativity, making you second-guess your every move? Well, what if I told you that this voice doesn't have to be your enemy, but can become your greatest ally? Stick around, as I unpack incredibly actionable strategies to turn that inner critic into your personal champion, and redefine what you think about happiness, peace, and living in the now. Welcome, gentlemen, to a no-holds-barred deep dive into conquering the internal dialogue that dictates your life's narrative. I'm Max Sterling, devoted to guiding bright minds like you to unlock the doors to your best self. A voice within can be relentless and unchecked, it's akin to having the worst roommate ever, a master at dialing up insecurities and doubts. But today, we tackle this head-on. And by the end of this conversation, you'll be equipped with laser-focused insights to transform and take charge of your internal narrative. Before we proceed, a quick reminder. Subscribing to this channel activates a treasure trove of golden wisdom that can propel you towards your aspirations. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let's journey together towards success. Now, let's shift gears and start by sinking in the profound realization that you are not that voice you are the listener. This epiphany is the foundation of books such as The Untethered Soul and The Power of Now, guiding you to a state of heightened consciousness where you learn to coexist with and, more vitally, control this inner roommate. It's incredibly empowering to take a step back, examine these thoughts from a distance, and acknowledge that you are the unchanging observer, an unshakable presence beyond the fluctuations of your thoughts and feelings. Ponder for a moment who am I, truly? Tease apart the layers and you'll uncover that we are not static beings. Our cells regenerate. Our personalities are fluid. Every seven years, we are virtually reborn, cells renewed, with the opportunity to redefine who we are. Shed the skin of past selves, embrace growth, and tap into the power of your authentic self, the 2.0 version waiting to break free. The danger lies in complacency, in fearing the unfamiliar and sticking with survival scripts that shackle us to mediocrity. Our world is inclined to a negativity bias, a distorted lens that emphasizes threats and fears over the positive, hindering our ability to thrive. It's time to break through, flip the script, and emerge, not from fear, but from a wellspring of love and the raw essence of who we are. How, you might ask? By not merely existing but consciously living. To do this, one must identify and embrace what ignites passion and joy within, while being mindful to shed activities and thoughts that do not serve the vibrant vision of your future self. Take this further by questioning long-held beliefs, being willing to let go of what no longer aligns with your path to greatness. Now let's discuss healing, not as a fleeting thought but as vital action much like removing a thorn embedded deep in your being. By refusing to confront the thorn or the hurts we've accumulated over time, we alter our lives to avoid the pain, sacrificing true living for mere survival. The journey to wholeness requires peeling away the layers, examining the scars, and allowing ourselves the vulnerability to heal and move forward, afresh. Understand that growth is not about leaping to the highest peaks of our imaginations but rather refusing to accept the lowest versions of ourselves. The real battle is not the damaging events of the past but the shadows these events cast over the present and future. Facing these shadows head-on brings liberation from those chains, opening us up to our fullest potential. An enlightening tale from the Buddha offers perspective the idea that negativity, hatred, and criticism are gifts that we can choose to decline. And when we reject these malign offerings, the giver is left holding the repercussions, not us. Guard your psyche judiciously and perceive these challenges not as personal attacks but as tests of your resilience and growth. For those of you ready for radical transformation, the metamorphic journey awaits. But remember, this path isn't for everyone. It's for those who are unafraid to take on an identity shift and step into their most powerful existence. If you're prepared to delve deep and work towards your 2.0 version, welcome aboard. In conclusion, it's not about simply settling into a comfortable groove but about rising, living fully, and embodying the most extraordinary version of yourself. I challenge you now, what steps from today's revelations will you implement in your life? And if you found valuable insights here, feel free to show your support. The measure of wisdom you take away today, may be matched with your generosity. Find the link in the description and here's to not just thriving in your own life but elevating those around you. Thank you, gentlemen, for investing your time with me. Until our next encounter, I urge you embrace your power, be not a passive listener to life's song, but the composer of your own masterpiece. See you next time.
Imagine unlocking the secrets to becoming the man you've always aspired to be a man of strength, depth, and exceptional character. What if I told you that the roadmap to such greatness lies not just within you, but in the wisdom shared today about personal growth and masculine energy? Gentlemen, we're delving into the compelling insights from a profound book, The Way of the Superior Man, and trust me, this is not your run-of-the-mill literature. This is a clarion call to harness your true potential. So, lean in as we unleash these transformative principles that will not only challenge you but also catapult you into living purely at your edge. Alright, let's cut to the chase and dive into the concept of polarity. You see, our world revolves around balancing forces. Day meshes with night, passion contends with indifference, and masculinity dances with femininity. But here's the kicker these forces need not align with your gender. Their energies, powerful and compelling, pulling at us in ways we often fail to recognize. The mating dance, the banter of courtship, all boil down to this intrinsic polarity. Masculine and feminine energies are not societal constructs, they are primal and they are universal, existing independently of our human frameworks. So, if you're feeling a magnetic pull towards someone, it's likely because your energies are in high voltage contrast, the same way opposite poles of magnets irresistibly attract each other. Embrace this polarity, learn from it, and use it to enrich your life and relationships. Mastering this will not only deepen your connections but also broaden your worldview. Remember, the concept isn't about domination, but about a dance of energies, growing more intricate and beautiful with each step. Ever feel like you're constantly waiting for the next best thing? That perfect moment, that ideal scenario? Listen up because it's time to snap out of that fantasy. Success true, profound success is not a destination, it's very much about the journey. And, my friends, that journey is happening right now. Every moment you spend pining for completion or waiting for that big break, you are sidelining your present, your reality. Cease falling prey to the illusion, there is no better moment than the present. When looking at the grind needed to realize our ambitions, whether in personal finance, career advancement, or even maintaining your physical health, the allure of future perfection can paralyze your progress today. This success fantasy might seem pleasing, but it can become a hindrance. Instead of dreaming, start doing. In the fitness world, this principle couldn't ring truer. Chucking your health goals into a future where you'll have more time, or the perfect plan, is a mirage. Begin with what you have, where you are, because the only real time is now. Now, let's talk about living on the edge your real edge, that is. You might not realize it, but the days are ticking away. With roughly 32,850 days from the cradle to nonagenarian status, every day is a precious resource. To squander them on autopilot is a travesty of your potential. Realize that facing up to your fears, pushing your limits, that's where real growth happens. You cannot afford to lie to yourself about where your edge lies, either. Authenticity and presence are your greatest assets, and they become the cornerstone of growth and trust. One fundamental truth that I urge you to absorb. Your decision should remain steadfastly your own. Never alter your course simply to satisfy another person be it in matters as complex as investments or as personal as your relationships. The moment you forsake your intuition for others' approval, you relinquish control, and with that, both your triumphs and your lessons lose their personal significance. Embrace your intuition and stand firm in your convictions, because this steadfastness is the essence of masculine energy. In line with rediscovering your core, you need to comprehend and manifest your life's purpose. Society bombards us with a know thyself mantra, but few understand the gravity of this ancient wisdom. Your true purpose aligns with your strengths, and the day you unearth those, you will have unlocked a well of satisfaction and happiness. There are assessments and tools aplenty in this modern world to aid you in this quest. Don't postpone this vital journey of self-discovery the sooner you begin, the more fulfilled your days will be. And while you're at it, be receptive to constructive criticism from peers and mentors. This feedback is a priceless currency in the market of personal growth. Adopt a forward-thinking mindset, challenge your approaches, and let this criticism mold you into a man of unwavering character and limitless potential. Now, to the men with families, the fathers, the husbands never let these roles be an excuse to forego your dreams. Tackling responsibility does not mean the abandonment of aspiration. You'll find countless stories of individuals who've navigated the tricky waters of balance successfully, achieving their dreams without sacrificing their familial duties. Moreover, cherish the power of commendation in your relationships. Praise earnest and generous can be transformative, especially within the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. 
Cultivate a spirit of nurturing support rather than critique, for it's through affirmation that we coax the best out of our partners and ourselves. Another potent lesson is to live as though you have no safety net as if your father, your safety blanket, was no longer there to catch you. There comes a time in every man's life when he must cut the emotional umbilical cord and stand in his truth, make decisions based on his compass, and live according to his own expectations, not those molded by others. Lastly, let's tackle the topic of complaints in a relationship. This is both insightful and practical understand that these grievances are often not about the surface issues, like unwashed dishes or unattended chores. They're a signal, a call to integrity and trust. Complaints are indicative of deeper trust issues, it's about the perception of your priorities. Learn to read between the lines and address the root concerns rather than just the superficial quibbles. So there you have it, the distilled wisdom from a life-changing read. Whether you agree with every point or find some challenging, the discourse will shape you. And as we part ways today, one thing's clear whether we're discussing the way of the divine masculine, modern life dating, or navigating the looming recession, the principles shared today have far-reaching implications. I encourage you to put this newfound knowledge into action. Start your path towards mastering your polarity, embracing feedback, and igniting your purpose. And don't forget, if you found value in this discussion and these teachings, recognize that by nurturing your strengths and talents, you support your journey towards becoming the man you're destined to be. And on that note, gents, if this message has resonated, if you found value that matches the effort and dedication put into curating this content, then consider extending a token of appreciation. A link is available for those inclined. Until next time, remember, life's not about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. So, gentlemen, what's the next move on your chessboard? Consider this carefully, and as always, step into your greatness with full force. Subscribe to this channel, and by doing so, may you unlock further knowledge and empowerment. Until our paths cross again, take action and thrive.